Well, hello, YouTube. Tennessee Wingman back with you. I haven't done a video since I was last uh, in Murfreesboro in February. Let me catch you up on what, that's, what we've been doing. As you can see, I'm outside. We did get relocated from Tennessee to Southeast Georgia. That is a house. It's our new place. We're very proud of it. It sits on uh, two and a half acres. It uh, has been a handful. We had a whole lot of projects that we had to do. My shop, it's a 30 by 37 workshop. I'm making it into a wing station, but I'll save that for a video of its own. There's a two car garage attached to the house. Oops. And as we can walk around the house, we can see The funnest part of the house is back here. The pool area. So, as I said, we have so many different projects. The third day we were here, the pump, which is in the well house, failed. We had no water. Well, call the water the pump guys out the wheel guys he tells me the pump is stuck in the ground a hundred feet down and we got to pull it out it's stuck in the pipe got to go through the roof of the pool house only his truck from the backside could not get it out I had to order a crane an 80 ton crane to park in the driveway here and reach over the pool all the way to the pool house. That was an ordeal. I'm glad we weren't in Tennessee. That would have been a fortune. The guy was very reasonable. He did not take my head off. So we got that fixed. All four of the garage doors had to be rebuilt, including the motors and all the hardware. So that was a shocker. Well, to say that the house was a challenge is putting it mildly, but <clears throat> we've about overcome the hurdles of the house. Let me tell you what else has been happening. It's been a heck of a half a year. We were, uh, there was an event happening in Tazewell, Virginia. It's called the Voter, uh, Virginia Motor, Motor Vloggers Meetup. And we were going to go up there and hang out with a bunch of the YouTubers. Well, I left on the 9th of June. I wrote it to Augusta and I met up with Bob Nelson, who is uh, a great YouTuber and a great guy. Go look his channel up. He, he does some great videos. And I did not feel well. I spent the night in Augusta, got with Bob the next morning, and we rode to Tazewell. <clears throat> On the way up there, I didn't feel well. We got to the hotel, and that's where I stayed. Three days in the hotel. I didn't get out. I didn't go riding. I didn't uh, didn't do anything. Headed home on a Sunday, and I got closer to Augusta, and I realized that I couldn't make it home. I was feeling real sick. So I got a hotel room, and I came on home on Monday. Well... I sat around all week and I got worse and worse. Uh, I had no energy, couldn't get out of my chair, couldn't stay awake, couldn't drink enough. I mean, I drank everything in the house. I went through one gallon of milk in a day. Well, a few days passed and my wife said, we're, we're having trouble, we need to go to the hospital. I went to the hospital, 13 miles from here, in the emergency room, it's a little clinic. 
in about an hour they come in and said we're transporting you to the next biggest town over with a big hospital they call a big hospital one it was one floor <laughs> so they told me my blood sugar was over 700 I was in a diabetic ketoacidosis something of that nature I was in trouble uh, I went over there and they put me in ICU and I stayed in ICU for three days I had three RVs going into me they were trying to regulate my sugar they got me on insulin they got everything happening they did a man a fantastic job a fantastic job uh, Wow what else can I say I come home with a whole new plan I am on a low carb no sugar diet I'm on uh, insulin twice a day uh, and, and metformin which is a, a diabetic medication uh, twice a day so I'm a uh, I'm feeling like a new man it's been about three weeks since I've been out of the hospital and my energy is back I'm uh, walking every day I've already dropped a lot of weight in February when I left Tennessee I weighed a bunch I weighed myself this morning I've lost 47 pounds from February to now so I have to feel better I'm not carrying all that with me but as you say as you know that's been a heck of a six months all the work in the house and then that to happen to us I missed the whole motor vloggers meetup I sat in a hotel room for three days and wasted money so I'm not real happy with that but things are looking up things are looking better I'm optimistic on where we are and where we're headed I'm looking forward to a new me I'm gonna work myself crazy the rest of this year to get off of the insulin I don't like it I don't want to have to live with it I think that by proper diet and exercise uh, get myself back down to where I need to be and the blood sugar will take care of itself so with the doctor's uh, advice and input and of course I've making sure I see the doctor regularly <laughs> I had a physical in January in Tennessee and all my numbers were incorrect I mean I've never had a blood sugar problem let me tell you I'm here to tell you it'll sneak up on you and knock you flat so don't ignore it if you have symptoms you know losing energy thirsty all the time uh, just be careful get the doctor to test your blood sugar uh, make sure that you're in the right path you know my triglycerides were through the roof so now I'm having to take cholesterol medicine but all in all I don't feel bad about any of it I'm thankful that my wife saved my life and got me to a hospital I'm thankful that I am up and about and feeling as good as I do uh, I'm gonna enjoy that pool a whole lot this summer so until next time you give those guys a, a Bob Nelson and mr. G 1965 who held the VAM uh, 21 up there in Tazewell along with 10 rides my buddy from Tennessee back, back home I'm gonna see them next week I'll be there uh, on Friday and we're gonna have dinner with 10 rides on Friday night and my whole bunch of going buddies on Saturday night we're looking forward to it so until then you guys be careful wingman out